it looks like a Martian landscape. But it's where the as yet unidentified object came crashing back to Earth. It landed in WA's dusty mining heartland near Newman on Saturday, confounding those who got there first. I uh, punched a, a photo into intelli uh, artificial intelligence and it provided these suggestions. We, it basically went off from there. So the AI indicated it was possibly space debris re-entry and that appears to be where we're at. Space is really tough, so you have to build stuff to last. And if this thing, you know, this thing shows how well it's built because it survived re-entry. Officials believe it's part of a space rocket and one expert believes she knows the likely source. We believe it's the fourth stage of a Chinese rocket called Jiling and the last launch was late September. So this has been barreling around the earth and quite suddenly has got pulled back into the atmosphere. Police say it's too early to confirm its origin. Oh, look, we've been told that it could take weeks and months. Western Australia is no stranger to space junk. In 1974, the decaying Skylab space station re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. It came down in a remote region of WA between Kalgoorlie and Esperance and the scramble was on to recover the wreckage. And in 2023, a rocket casing was found at a beach 250 kilometres north of Perth. While there's never been a reported death or injury from falling space debris in Australia, experts say more and more rockets are being launched every year. This is the world that we're starting to live in, where we're having to look to the skies and be conscious of what what's above us because things might come down and we don't know when or where all the time. The Australian Space Agency says once it works out where this recent wreck has come from, it'll arrange to send it back to its owner. Charlie McLean, ABC News.